good day. Welcome to our 14th topic, okay, so which is how to subtract integers. Okay, so we have two ways here, using the number line, and the second one is using the sign tabs. So we all know that addition and subtraction are opposite processes. So what does it mean? This implies that any subtraction problem can be rewritten as an addition problem using opposites, okay? That is, in symbol a and b, let's say for example, if a and b are integers or real numbers in general, then we could say that a minus b is also the same as a plus negative b, okay? So again, addition and subtractions are opposite operations or processes. So pwede nating isulat yung subtraction problem natin, okay, gamit yung addition problem. And that is, A minus B is also the same as A plus negative B. Okay, so let's now begin with the first method, which is using the number line. In subtracting integers gamut to the number line, we need to consider it the following steps. The first one, we need to express the subtraction problem through addition problem. Okay, gamit yung symbol na to. Again, if our given is a minus b, if we rewrite na natin siya into addition process, that is a plus negative b. And the second step is, if a follow natin yung suggested steps in adding integers using the number line. So sa mga hindi nakakaalam po, uh, kindly uh, watch the video okay of topic number 13 that is how to add integers let's begin with number one three minus seven okay so this is our first item again yung first step natin we need to rewrite our subtraction into addition process so that means a three minus seven is also the same as three plus negative seven okay 3 minus 7 is also the same as 3 plus negative 7. Then, after that, the second step naman natin is if we follow natin yung steps on how to use a number line when adding integers. That is, titignan muna natin yung first addend, and our first addend is 3. Ilulakit natin siya sa number line, hahanapin yung 3. So, then dito yung 3 natin. Okay, after that, titignan natin yung second addend, which in this case, we have negative 7. Ulitin ko lang, when it comes to moving uh, units, when it comes to addition, pag positive yung addends natin, we will move that unit to the right of our number line. If it is negative, we will move our unit to the left. Let's go back. Our second addend is negative 7. 7 here is negative. That means we will move our first addend 7 units to the left. Since 7 is negative. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And the answer is negative 4. That means 3 minus 7 is also equal to 3 plus negative 7, which is negative 4. Let's proceed to number 2. Negative 13 minus 8. Again, before we proceed to the number line, uh, see to it that uh, we change the subtraction into addition process. So that means negative 13 minus 8 is also the same as negative 13 plus negative Eight. Again, negative 13 plus negative 8 is the same as negative 13 minus 8. We can now proceed to the number line. Tingnan natin yung first addend. We have negative 13. Ilolakit lamang po natin siya sa number line. And nandito siya. So this is our first addend. Then, yung second addend natin, ito naman yung B lang ng paggalaw ng ating first addend. So we have 8. So we need to move 8 units yung first add natin. And the direction is to the left since 8 here is negative. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And the answer is negative 21. Hence, negative 13 minus 8 is also equal to 
negative 13 plus negative 8, which is negative 21. Negative 21 is the final answer. Number 3, we have 3 minus negative 5. 3, uh, 6 rather, 6 minus negative 5. So we will rewrite this into addition problem. Uh, that is 6 plus positive uh, 5. Okay? 6 minus negative 5 is also the same as 6 plus 5. First step, a uh, second step rather, locate the first addend in the number line. So we have your sixth. And then the second addend will be our base, okay, uh, for the movement of our first addend. And the sign of your second addend will be, or rather will indicate the directions of your movement. Since 5 here is positive, we will move uh, these initial points 5 units to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the answer is 11. Hence, 6 minus negative 5 is equal to 11. Number 4. How about negative 9 minus negative 11? Negative 9 minus negative 11 is also the same as negative 9 plus positive 11. Again, negative 9 minus negative 11 is also the same as negative 9 plus 11. Next, locate the first addend. Hanapin lamang yung first addend, which in this case, the negative 9 in our number line. Nandito yung negative 9. Our second addend, again, is the basis kung ilang movements ang pwede natin galawin, okay? At yung sign ng ating uh, second addend is the, the directions. Okay, kung positive, papuntang right. Negative, papuntang left. In this case, 11 is positive. So, we will move this um, first addend 11 units to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And the answer is 2. Therefore, negative 9 minus negative 11 is equal to 2. Number 5. 15 minus negative 13 is also the same as 15 plus positive 13. Again, 15 minus negative 13 is also the same as 15 plus 13. Next step, locate the first addend in our number line. Nandito yung 15. The second addend is 13. That is the number of movements na gagalawin natin yung first addend. Since 13 is positive, papunta tayong right. Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And the final answer is 28. 15 minus negative 13 is equal to 15 plus 13, which is equal to 28. So this is how you do the number line when it comes to subtracting integers. Let's now proceed to the sign tiles. Subtraction can be thought of informally as taking n numbers of things away from m numbers of things, right? So, pag sinabi kasi natin subtraction, magbabawas tayo or magtatanggal tayo. Okay, sa isang bagay, it depends on the number of things na tatanggalin natin. And this idea is used in subtracting integers using the sign tiles. So, katulad ng, sub, ng addition, um, addition of integers, gagamitin tayo ng dalawang sign tiles here. Okay? We will use the positive sign tiles and we have also your negative sign tiles. Again, in addition process, pag, um, pag meron tayong flexible tiles that is composed of uh, one positive and one negative, that is equivalent to zero. Okay? So, magka-cancel out na sila. So, ganun pa rin yung steps natin. Katulad na number line, we need to convert the subtraction, okay, process into addition process. Let's say, for example, number one. Eight minus five is equal to what? Eight minus five is also the same as eight plus negative five. 
Again, 8 minus 5 is also the same as 8 plus negative 5. Okay, so una natin gagawin is ito. Mag-draw tayo ng sine tiles of our first student, and that is 8. So we will create 8 positive sine tiles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, and the second addends is negative, so we will create negative, or rather, uh, we will create five negative uh, sine tiles. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, five lang pala. Nasobra. Okay, so this is our sine tiles for eight minus a five, or that is eight plus negative five. So here, this is a flexible tile, so it will cancel out. This is equal to zero. This is also equal to zero. Cancels, cancel, cancel. So the remaining tiles is the answer for eight minus five or eight plus negative five. And that is one, two, three positive sine tiles. Therefore, eight minus five is equal to eight plus negative five is three. Okay? Next number, number two. How about for negative 4 minus negative 3? First addend is negative 4. So we will create negative sine tiles. Okay, apat. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Uh, we did not convert this yet, right? Okay, so uh, convert muna natin into addition process. Negative 4 minus negative 3 is also the same as negative 4 plus positive 3. Again, negative 4 minus negative 3 is also the same as negative 4 plus 3. Okay, for the second addend, we have your positive 3. We will create 3 positive sign tiles. 1, 2, 3. Okay, so meron tayong flexible sign tiles. Magka-cancel out sila. Okay, ito. This one and this one. And the remaining sign tiles is the answer for item number two. And that is, we have one negative sign tiles. Hence, negative four minus negative three is equal to negative one. Number three. We have negative 8 minus 5, which is also the same as negative 8 plus negative 5. Negative 8 minus 5 is also the same as negative 8 plus negative 5. First addend, we have negative 8. We'll create 8 negative sine tiles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. For the second addend, we have your negative 5. We'll create negative uh, sine tiles, which is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So in this case, wala tayong um, existence of your flexible tiles. So ang gagawin natin dito is to count all the negative sine tiles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we have 13 negative sine tiles. Hence, Negative 8 minus 5 is equal to negative 13. Next item. Number 4. What is 9 minus negative 6? 9 minus negative 6 can be rewritten as 9 plus positive 6. Again, 9 minus negative 6 is also the same as 9 plus 6. So using the sign tiles, first addend is positive 9. So gagawa tayo ng sham na positive tiles. 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. For the second addend, we have 6, which is positive. So, gagawa tayo ng 6 positive sign tile. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, here, there is no existence of flexible tiles. So, we will count all the number of positive tiles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Therefore, 9 minus negative 6 is equal to 15. Last item, we have negative 3 minus negative 7. 
negative 3 minus negative 7 can be rewritten as negative 3 plus positive 7. Negative 3 minus negative 7 can be rewritten as negative 3 plus 7. For the first addend, we have negative 3, so we will create 3 negative sign thoughts. 1, 2, 3. For the second addend, we have 7, which is positive. We will create 7 positive sign thoughts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And there is an existence of flexible sign thoughts, so that means uh, 1 positive and 1 negative is equal to 0. Okay, so we cancel out sila, ito, and ito. The remaining sign tiles is the answer for this uh, problem number 5. That is 1, 2, 3, 4 positive sign tiles. Hence, negative 3 minus negative 7 is equal to positive 4. So this is how to subtract integers using number line and using sign tiles.